Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. So for this Foodie Fridays, we are making turkey taco bowls. In my grocery haul this week, I asked if y'all wanted to see this or my mom's dressing and it was kind of more taco bowls than dressing, but I'm still gonna bring that dressing recipe to y'all soon. So what ingredients do y'all need for this turkey taco bowls? Well, you need a pound of turkey, you're gonna need some salt and pepper, a teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, fourth of a cup, fourth of a teaspoon, excuse me, of oregano, fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, 14.5 ounces of beef broth, eight ounces of tomato sauce, 15 ounces of black beans, and one cup of fresh our frozen corn. <laughs> a lot of ingredients, guys, but they're simple ingredients and a lot of things that you probably already have on hand. And you're essentially making your own taco seasoning here. So if you want to skip that step and just use a packaged taco seasoning, I'm sure that would be just fine. Just note that you're going to have a little bit more sodium content with that. Let's get into how to make this a yummy turkey taco bowl recipe. We really enjoyed it and I can't wait to share. Right, so you're going to take your pound of ground turkey and you're just going to add your salt and pepper here. I just eyeballed it. The original recipe called for a certain amount, but I just eyeballed my salt and pepper when doing this. And if you wanted to add a little garlic powder here, you definitely can. So just brown up your ground turkey and then drain and come back to the pan. We're going in with our dry ingredients here. You're going to need a half a teaspoon of garlic powder with the cumin. That's going to be one teaspoon. I'm actually just using a half here because I totally spaced on the measurements and I even left an ingredient out. It still tasted delish, so don't even worry about it. Everything will be in the description box down below. Half a teaspoon of chili powder here. Then we're going to go in with a half a teaspoon of your onion powder. I think I actually replaced um, one of the ingredients with more onion powder, which who doesn't love them? Some onions and garlic. It tasted totally fine. A fourth of a teaspoon of whole oregano, and then you're supposed to go in with a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. I totally forgot that one. A fourth of a cup of your all-purpose flour here. You want to sprinkle that in with your seasonings, and then you're going to take your spoon and you're going to stir it around. It is going to be very dry and crumbly, and that is okay. That's the consistency that you want. Just make sure that all the ingredients are incorporated. Point, I'm going to add my beef broth here and you want to add a little at a time and then take your spoon and stir it around and incorporate all the flavors. So just a little bit at a time, stir away, add more, stir away. then want to add in your tomato sauce and you're adding eight ounces of that you want to stir that together and then you want to bring it to a boil so at this point we're stirring all this stuff together and waiting for it to come to a boil and then we're going to be adding once it comes to a boil as you see here our corn and you need one cup of frozen corn and then 15 ounces of your rinsed black beans. Make sure to rinse your black beans before adding them here. Stir away and then we want to let simmer for 15 to 20 minutes until it is thickened up a little bit. All right, y'all, so here is the final product. I am serving mine in these little soft shelled tortilla bowls. They are so stinking good. I actually wish that we would have bought like maybe a crunchy or hard taco shell to put them in. I think I will try that next time, but these were so good. I love the crunchiness of the corn and the black beans just give it a really great touch. This is a really easy way to make taco night every week if you wanted to. And guys, I have a lot of people that ask me about ground turkey, if you can taste it difference. I cannot taste the difference between ground turkey and ground meat, especially when making recipes like this with all those flavors. It just tastes so awesome. And when you're topping it with like loads of cheese and sour cream, I mean, that makes anything better, right? So y'all give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying these Foodie Fridays videos every single week here on my channel. Make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family here as I share a recipe every week here on my channel. I think next week is going to be mom's dressing, so definitely stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe if you want to see that for next week so you get notified when I upload. Y'all have an amazing Friday and an awesome weekend ahead and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.